So you know that in heart failure, the part of the heart that is affected the most is the left ventricle. All right. And if I ask you to think and tell me why the left ventricle is most often affected, um, to me, I'll reason that, okay, the right side handles the oxygenated blood. The left side handles what? Oxygenated blood. Now, this oxygenated blood needs to be pumped to different parts of the body, okay? Just to ensure that blood reaches everywhere. Do you understand? So, on the left side, the left ventricle is responsible for pumping blood all around the body. So, the left ventricle does the most work. So, if there's heart failure, the part of the heart that will be working so much to restore the heart to normal function is the left ventricle. Do you understand? So this left ventricle, it actually remodels or it changes some of its characteristics when there's a heart failure, okay? And these are the characteristics that we are trying to look at, right? So left ventricular remodeling during heart failure. So you could see, right? So you could see that the left ventricle, one thing is there's a myocyte hypertrophy, okay? So there's a left ventricular what, enlargement, or you could see hypertrophy, right? So we say that in cardiology, ventricular remodeling refers to changes in size, in the shape, structure, and function of the heart, okay? So this can happen as a result of exercise or after injury to the heart muscles, all right? But in this case, we're talking about the injury now. Now, this refers to now, talking about the left ventricular word, remodeling now, it refers to the changes in the left ventricle mass, volume, shape, and the composition of the heart. And this occurs after cardiac injury, okay? Or it could be abnormal hemodynamic word, loading conditions, right? So it could be that blood suddenly overfilled the heart, okay? Or it could be that there was a cardiac injury and the heart is trying to like, compensate for that. So this left ventricular remodeling is influenced by what hemodynamic. It could be that blood is overfilling or all that stuff, right? It could be neuro uh, neurohormonal. It could be epigenetic. It could be some genetic factors, right? As well as other comorbidity conditions. So it could be that blood is not really coming or it could be that other parts of the heart are failing and the left ventricle is doing so much work. Okay, it could be that vessels are blocking, so it's doing so much work to push the pressure just to what unblock those vessels and send blood to the rest of the body. Okay, so this much work oftentimes uh, will enlarge the ventricles, the left ventricles, and all that. All right, so that's it about what left ventricular, left ventricle remodeling during heart failure. Okay.